A freeze dryer like the one next to me removes water activity and moisture from various different foods. I've got several different fruits that I'm gonna show you what the net weight is after freeze drying. Let's get started. The fruits that we're gonna to do today to see gross versus net weight is we're gonna do pineapple, we're gonna do raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, and apples. All right, here are all the tools that I use to prepare fruit. These have really helped me be more efficient in my business and get these fruits prepared very quickly and easily. Now, if you're interested in purchasing any of these, I've got links in the video description of this video that link directly to Amazon. They are affiliate links, so I do get a small commission. And for the very small amount that Amazon does give me in commission, I use it directly to buy different tools and things that I'm seeing that would be beneficial for all of you to see me use for this freeze drying channel. So I'd appreciate any type of purchases that go through those links. All right, so what we've got here is I've got a knife sharpener. This is an antique sharpener. I don't think you're gonna find that on the Amazon links, but I do have one that's more modern on there. This is a uh, egg slicer um, that I use for strawberries to slice into different pieces. Now this is an apple core, so this goes directly into the core, which I'll show you of the pineapple. And then after you get it cored, you slice this down and it gets you really nice bite-sized pieces with this piece. Uh, I got a really great knife. And then I've also got, of course, the roller berry, which I did a video on. And this pokes the skin of blueberries so that the moisture releases and you get a really nice crispy blueberry. Um, and it drops the blueberries with this little uh, groove right here. Also, I've got this apple slicer. Now, this is actually more of a potato slicer, believe it or not, for fries, but I use it for apples and you put it in here, then you slide this lever and it creates all these different nice little small bite-sized fry slices for apples. It's all right, so let's get started with blueberries. So what I've got is a scale here that will measure the gross and net weight, but I wanted to make sure I showed you what I'm kind of doing within this video. So for blueberries here that I've already washed, what I did is I, I really looked for a tray's worth in the large freeze dryer worth of fruit. And I made sure that I did a pound of every type of fruit or more. And so this is a carton of blueberries. It's six ounces gross starting out. And I did three of those. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the scale. Now I'm gonna use this bowl and then I'm gonna tear it off so that it gets to zero. And then we're gonna pour the blueberries into this bowl. For the blueberries, it's one pound and three ounces. So that's what we'll start with with the blueberries. Now it's time to use the roller berry and get the blueberries poked. Um, again, I use a Harvest Right tray and silicone mat to line these up. And uh, if you'd like to buy Harvest Right mats, you can obviously go to their website. I've got a link in the description. And just transfer the blueberries over to the freezer paper. You wanna have the shiny side up and then we just keep doing the blueberries. This is 18 ounces of blueberries poked and all with the roller berry. I'm gonna put this into the freezer so we'll pre-freeze it and then we'll get into the freeze dryer and see what the net weight is of 18 ounces of blueberries. All right, the blueberries are done. Take a look at this. This is what your freeze dried blueberries should look like when you poke the skin. It shouldn't look like this one. This one wasn't poked. As you can see, it kind of exploded. The rest of them did not. So this is a good solid batch of blueberries. Now, if you recall what we did with the blueberries, this gross weight was about 18 ounces. We did three packs of six ounce of the blueberries. Let's see how much the blueberries get for net weight. All right, so let's take a look at the results. After we put in 18 ounces of blueberries starting out, we got after freeze drying 2.3 net ounces of freeze dried blueberries. All right, next up is raspberries. This is another six ounce carton and I put three raspberries. I've already washed all of these raspberries so we're gonna transfer it to this bowl, let it zero out. Then let's put the raspberries on there. All right, so what we've got here for gross rate for the raspberries, just a little bit over a pound, so we've got a pound and roughly maybe two to three ounces of raspberries. So we'll put that onto the baking sheet and then put it in the freezer. 
right, so here's a pound of raspberries. We'll put this into the freezer, let it pre-freeze, and then we'll put it into the freeze dryer. This is what freeze-dried raspberries looks like. Becomes super crunchy. I'll smash one of these. Just super airy. It's very tart, but very delicious. Great for smoothies, yogurts. That's how I would market it. And um, just excellent, excellent fruit to freeze dry. And we're gonna put them into the bowl. And let's see what the, it came out to. All right, so how much did we get from 18 ounces of raspberries? 2.2 net ounces were produced from freeze drying raspberries. I do wanna invite you to a couple of my other videos. There's a lot of other videos on how to do different candies, fruits, and I even do ice cream, so check that out. And as always, if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button, but also subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified of future videos and join us in this freeze drying community, thanks. All right, so let's get started with strawberries now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off the stems of the strawberries that are already washed so that we can figure out the gross weight of that versus with the stems on. All right, now that the stems are off of the strawberries, we're gonna weigh the gross weight. That way we know where we started. I'm doing two pounds of strawberries out of these cartons. So there's one and then another one of these. All right, sweet. So we're starting off with two pounds of strawberries with the stems off, which is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and slice these strawberries and then we'll put it on the baking sheet and put it in the freezer. pounds of strawberries, all the gross weight. So we're gonna put this into the freezer and then we'll see what the net weight comes out. Okay, here we go with strawberries. These are freeze dried strawberries. They should be very crispy and airy and look like this and just basically snap in half. These are awesome. This is probably my, one of my favorites. Okay, so what do we get for the strawberries? We've got 3.4 net ounces from two pounds of strawberries, all sliced and all. All right, so one of my favorite fruits that's freeze dried, but I don't do it as much as I should, is pineapple. I've got two pineapple. We'll core it using this core, and then we'll put all those slices into a bowl and figure out the gross weight. So let's do that. So now we're ready to core the pineapple. This is a really ripe pineapple, as you can tell by the outside layer, but that's okay. I just wanted to get some pineapple for this video to kind of see how much we're gonna get. We're gonna use now this slicer, and this goes all the way down and gets you into like the little bite-sized pieces. Two pineapples all sliced and cored. We've got one pound and almost 15 ounces. So we'll put this into the freezer. Freeze-dried pineapple is super delicious, man. The flavor is just fantastic. Now, sometimes you do need to freeze-dry this a little bit longer. I've checked a lot of these and it should kind of sound like what you're hearing. It should sound like it's dry and just kind of crumbling up and breaking apart like this. All right, so what did we get from pineapple? We got five net ounces from two pounds of pineapple sliced and cored. Awesome. All right, last fruit on our list for this video is gonna be apples. I've got some Gala apples. This is about two pounds of apples. There's only five of them. Now, this is one of my favorite tools for prepping fruit other than the roller berry. This is a fry slicer that I found off of Amazon. This is fantastic. You put the apple into this apple core and then you push this lever and it slices out the apple into these little pieces that look like fries. All right, so let's see how much this weighs as part of a gross once we've sliced them all. All right, so look what we've got here. We've got one pound and 12 ounces gross weight 
for all these apple slices. So we'll put them onto the baking sheet and then we'll put them into the freezer and we'll see what happens after we freeze dry. All right, freeze dried apples are out. They're just awesome. They look very snacky. That's why I like doing that potato slicer. Big reveal, how much did we get from five gala apples? We got 4.3 net ounces of freeze dried apple fry. I wanted to address a couple of questions that usually come up in my videos, which is, you know, if you're starting out doing a freeze dry business or you're currently doing one, one of the things you're trying to evaluate is what the price is going to be on your packages based on various sizes, but also, you know, how much weight or how much product do you put in there? So to answer that question, I really didn't make it too complicated on myself when I first started out. And even to this day, I went online, I did some Google searches, I went on to Etsy and I looked to see what other freeze drying companies were pricing their products at and the net weight. And what I found to be more consistent online and from other freeze dry companies, including large companies like the brands that you see at Target and Trader Joe's freeze drying fruit, generally about one net ounce of freeze dried fruit is gonna run about six to seven dollars. I add probably two to three dollars for my end because I'm a local small business. It's a little bit more premium. I'm not mass producing it. I'm more pricing it as a local premium freeze dried fruit product. So that's what I would suggest you doing is kind of looking at about an ounce of product and then marking it up to probably about nine to $10 per ounce. You need to evaluate you know, how much labor you're putting into prepping all that fruit. As you saw earlier in this video, it did take a lot of time to prep and slice and do different types of fruit. Maybe raspberries was one of those that didn't take that much time, but you really do need to take into account the time and labor that you're putting into that. And also you're not adding any preservatives or sugars like some of the other companies might be doing. So to recap the answer is those larger companies that are mass producing freeze dried fruit, they are pricing about one net ounce of fruit for about six to seven dollars. So for the smaller business freeze dried companies, I would recommend pricing that up about two to three more dollars. I'm still selling all the fruit that I put out there to my customers and in retail stores. It still seems to be demanding that type of price. Hey, that was awesome figuring out the gross and net weight of all these different fruits. I think this is really helpful just for you to evaluate and figure out what you can forecast for all the different cycles based on how many pounds you need to buy at the store and then how many you're gonna actually get out of freeze drying in that cycle because it's all about just knowing how quickly you can get stuff freeze dry but also how much bags you can get so that you can get out there and sell. So I hope this video was helpful. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and join us in the freeze drying community. Thanks again for watching and do something great for your community for freeze drying as a business. See ya. Yeah.